Place your hands in the center of the frame to show the strength or gentleness of the character. Or have the character raise his hand to take a drink without saying a word. A free hand is what the character wants, which is why many workers and communist parties use hands as a symbol to take power away from the oppressor. The hand is a human tool that allows us to show our feelings, control space, or define an action by pointing at an object or person. The hand extends the user's physical control over the environment and shows power dynamics between those who can exercise it and those who cannot. Just as a hand can show power, the loss of a hand shows a lack of control. The lightsaber duel between Vader and Luke Skywalker in the Empire strikes back ends with Luke's hand being cut off, a cruel and fantastic way of showing the unequal power relationship. One of the best and most common uses of the hand is to show the power dynamics between the two characters. In many fantasy films, the hand is used to show the balance of power between the protagonist and the antagonist similarly. The hand master inadvertently transfers power to the hand through the one ring in the Lord of the Rings. Now you see it explains how the hand can be used to demonstrate control. Loss of control, intimacy, trust, and even compassion through the hand of another. Think of the hand as an extension of the brain that can guide the viewer through a scene when there isn't enough dialogue to tell the story. A severed hand is a common horror trope, showing that something has a will of its own. Turning a hand into something else is a release from a system that the character disagrees with. We still see this in movies, where a character can command action simply by waving his hand. 